I'm Kaylin. I'm Ainsley. I'm Gracia. And I'm Sophia. We are from North Platte High School. Choo-choo! And this poem is titled, A, A Trial, Trial for Our Childhood. Childhood. Good afternoon, Your, Your Honor. Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. We're here today representing millions of young girls whose innocence and youth was, was slaughtered, taken, taken from, from them too soon. These are their stories. Our first witness, Lindsay Armstrong, cannot be with us today. This 17-year-old took her own life after she was raped and the man who raped her cited her lacy underwear as a sign of her consent. And they were used as evidence against her in court. When Jordan, Jordan Gomes, Gomes was nine years old, she survived the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School. She was forced to grow up, carrying the death of 26 of her classmates. Our next witness, Malala Yousafzai, was shot on her school bus at the age of 15 for speaking out about education for girls in Pakistan. These crimes against girls happen everywhere. We, we are, are witnesses, too. 15-year-old me had to realize that having opinions different from my father's would make me an outsider in my own family. I have had to teach myself how to dodge being hit on and catcalled. Why did I have to learn to avoid eye contact from the old men in the grocery store? Why, Why didn't they have, have to, to keep themselves under control? control? Being a blonde teenage girl means that I've been called dumb by almost every person I've encountered. This year I walked into my biology classroom and my teacher right away told me that since I was blonde, I might not pass her class. As, As if, if being feminine, feminine makes us less capable. capable. When I was 16, someone tried to comfort me after I told them my sexual abuse story by insisting that boys will be boys, but eventually they turn into men. We're here today to bear witness to all crimes committed against young women, both big and small. This, this is justice, justice for every girl who was forced into something she didn't want. For every girl who was forced to grow up because of violence she didn't cause. This, this is justice, justice for every girl who was taught that her body is something to use. This, this is justice for every girl who had to raise her siblings. For, for every, every girl, girl who tried to save her mother from her father. For every girl who got dress coded because her shoulders were too distracting. For every girl who was told she should take home medicine instead of calculus. For the girls who were told they were too old to dance playfully around the kitchen. This, this is justice, justice for us. For the things that you've taken away. For every shift I was told to smile. For the time I was told I was so well spoken for being a girl. For every time I listened to someone tell me that my biggest goal should be to be good enough for a man. Quit, Quit taking things away from young girls. You taught them that this was a natural part of growing up. But what about any of this seems natural? Stop teaching girls that the entrance to womanhood looks like the exit of childhood. It's, it's not okay. okay. They didn't deserve to be denied a single second of their youth. Neither did we. But you took years. Justice must be served. The, the prosecution, prosecution rests. rests.